Hi, I'm Eileen. And I'm Sarah. And welcome to the early winter edition of Pierce TV. This month will feature photography, computer illustration, and 3D animation from our digital design students. We'll have clips with Raider coaches Bill Mendelson and Brian Perugin, and a library segment with Sarah Fry. We'll also include a segment on Student Voices, a project put together by several students throughout the state. We'll start this episode off with a My Class segment from Pierce College's Media Department. From our Veterinary Technology Program, here's Markeva Contras. Pierce College was the first veterinary technology program in the state. That's what I thought at first was the Acinephil. Yeah. The day in the life of a veterinary technician um, is crazy nonstop from start to finish. <laughs> the students learn um, the basics in terms of animal care for both uh, small animals like dogs and cats. <laughs> large animals like uh, horses, cows, goats. We usually tell our students that anybody who wants a job has a job, usually by the time they graduate. I think that you've got two platelets right next to it, which yeah. could the be students kind of just really love the hands-on skills. <laughs> There's going to be lab work involved. <laughs> we perform anesthesia. <laughs> They act as surgical assistants. Um, they take radiographs. They perform all of the lab work. And they take that into the laboratory and run all the blood chemistries. They, they do a lot of parasitology and urinalysis. We do have that hands-on feel, which is really brings a lot to the table here. The vet tech program at Pierce, I'd say, is a the greatest opportunity in my life that I've had thus far. It's really changed what I've thought about uh, technical programs and the schooling that goes with it. Of course, you can't come into this program without loving animals, and uh, you have to have a lot of patience. The staff really makes it. Um, just the passion they have, it's, it's really contagious. I've always liked science, and I've always liked uh, helping animals. It can be a high-paced, stress-filled day, but in the end, this is what you get. And so, yeah, there's, there's a lot to enjoy and a lot to love about being a veterinary technician. Here are some films from the Digital Design 3D Modeling and Animation class.
From our Raiders women's basketball program, here's coach Brian Perugan. Hi, I'm Brian Perugan, head women's coach here at Pierce College. We just finished our first season, and I believe we have set pace for a new attitude. The Lady Raiders are here to win. Our program is fundamentally based off the three A's, academics, attitude, and ability. Academics, well, that's the reason why you're here to go to school. You're here to learn. That should be your number one priority. Attitude, well, your attitude is part of your character. That's your makeup. That's what's gonna carry you through your life. And if you have the ability, you're more than welcome to try out for our team. I've been coaching in the state of Washington, coaching women's basketball for the last 20 years. And I can truly tell you that coaching is a privilege, it's not a right. It gives me an opportunity as a coach to help develop young ladies to become better people and basketball players. And we appreciate that opportunity every day that we come out here on the hardwood to work with our young ladies. We would like you to have that opportunity to be successful in your future here at Pierce College and where you continue to go on with your education after Pierce. This past season was quite fun. We actually did turn a lot of heads. And in the second half, we won five of our last eight games, missing the NWAC tournament by two games. You know, our theme for this past season was our attitude will make the difference. And I can tell you what, I'm very pleased and excited about how we finished our season with our young ladies, putting the team together with very little bit of time. We are very excited about this next upcoming season. We are building a new tradition, striving for excellence in everything that we do, on the court and off the court. If you want to be part of something special, join in on all the excitement, Raider basketball. You're watching Pierce TV a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. Up next is some artwork from students in the Digital Design Computer Illustration class.
from the library here at Pierce College, here's Sarah Fry. Hi, my name is Sarah Fry, and I'm a librarian at Pierce College Fort Stillicum. I want to help you discover what your library has to offer. Are you looking for a place to meet with a group, to study, or work on a project? Do you need a place that has lots of table space to spread out books or projects? Uh, maybe a computer area, whiteboards? Check out the library's flex zone, which is located behind the wood classroom. This area has lots of movable furniture to help accommodate your group's needs. All of the tables are on wheels. We have comfortable chairs, coffee tables, rolling whiteboards. This year, we'll also be getting tables that hook to a big screen TV for students to plug in their laptops to work on group presentations. If you're looking for a quieter place to work with your group, you can also reserve a group study room on the library's third floor. Call or stop by the borrow desk to set up a reservation. Here are some digital images from students in the Digital Design's Advanced Photoshop classes. From our Raiders men's basketball program, here's coach Bill Mendelson. Hi, I'm Bill Mendelson, men's basketball coach here at Pierce College. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Raider program that we're really excited about. In the last six years, we've moved 12 players onto uh, four-year schools and two of them playing professionally in Europe. We're excited about their futures. 
In the last couple years also, we've placed second and third in NWAC uh, as a head coach in high school and college for the last 26 years. We've been, our team's been in the playoffs 21 of those years. And I'm no guru of basketball or, or anything like that. We just try to get great kids, want to play together as a team. And, and we're, we actually try to recruit kids that really want to get a college education. And that's one of the main focuses here at Pierce College. We want to help kids move on, whether you're going to play basketball or not. You know, we, we want kids that want to go to college. And talking about the student athlete here at Pierce, we're probably the only school in NWAC. The last three years, we've had three players go on, two of them all conference players, go on and make the all academic team. And this year's uh, member, Josh Brewer, had the highest grade point average in the entire NWAC out of 37 schools. He had a 395 grade point average playing basketball, and now he's pitching for their baseball team. He probably will be the highest grade point average in the spring on the baseball program also. So we're excited about our players moving on and are excited about the players that are here. We had great team chemistry and you know in any kind of a program, if guys get along together, they'll be able to be successful in whatever they do. So welcome and we hope that you'll be able to come and see a Raider game. Thank you. Up next is some digital photography from Doreen Paulson's digital design class.
You're watching Pierce TV, a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. With the current economic climate, the state is making quite a few cuts in education. Students at colleges throughout the state got together to make sure that their voice was being heard by our legislators in Olympia on the importance of educational funding. From student programs, Pierce College, Fort Stillicum, here's Danny Rushford. Hi, I'm Danny from Pierce College. Um, me and my fellow students are here to talk to you about how tuition increases and education budget cuts are affecting us here at Pierce. I decided to go back to school a couple years ago after uh, my husband's second battle with cancer bankrupted us. Um, not being able to work enough to pay bills and everything like that, it kind of dawned on me that it's time to do something better with my life so I don't find myself in that hole again. Um, but without financial aid and the grants that I've received, I wouldn't be able to do that. Because I've received the financial aid, I'm able to focus on my studies and let that be the priority of my life instead of working full time. Um, so they're very important. I know I'm not the only student here that relies on the financial aid and the grants and everything else to get them through on their day-to-day -day basis. That is my story though. Here are a few of my fellow peer students with their stories. My name is Shatara Baker and I am a student here at Press College Fort Silicon and I've been here since 2009. At the beginning of 2009 when I first started here fall quarter I was receiving Pell Grant, my scholarship which is the Achievers and the State Need Grant and I was getting about four thousand dollars towards school and things to help. The Achievers is based off of my financial status and since they've taken the Pell Grant and the State Need Grant from me I've had to pay for everything by myself and that includes me having to get student loans through Pierce which has actually been kind of a downer because now once I do graduate from school I have to pay back money to the school because of the state need grant being taken from me and also the Pell Grant. But since they're going to raise the price of tuition by what, between 15 and 25 percent it's going to be even harder because this up in, this up and coming quarter I'm going to have to pay sixteen hundred dollars for four classes which is actually pretty high for me and my family because we can't really afford that so I'm going to have to get more actually ask for more money for my student loans which again is going to be really hard for us because that's something we have to pay back and we have other things we need to take care of not that school isn't important but it really is important for me and what I want to do with my life um, I wish that this wasn't happening because it's already hard enough for me when I have to go to school and work and then study and then tutor. It's, it's a lot of stress on students and I think that to raise it, it's just going to add even more stress. My name is Evan Lish. I'm a military veteran and student at Pierce College. I'm also a member of the Honor Society. My future as a fully contributing member of society depends on being able to fund my education. I don't come from an affluent upbringing. Everything I have, I have earned myself. I did not draw unemployment. My life up to this point is a direct product of my own blood, sweat, and tears. I have aspirations though. My goal is to earn a doctorate of business psychology. I want desperately to be one of those individuals that has a direct hand in repairing the ills that plague corporate America. For me to continue my education, I will need to rely on education loans and student aid. Please don't let my career come to a halt before it has ever reached full fruition. My peers and I are the future hope of the American way. Please don't throw away America's future. My name is Veronica Garcia and I go to Pierce College. This quarter I couldn't afford to buy books for my classes because all I could afford was tuition. I spent the whole quarter borrowing other people's books and didn't always have what I need, needed to study for the exams because I didn't have the books. There's no way I could afford higher tuition costs, so please don't raise them. Hi, my name is Demetrius uh, Dennis. I'm a student here, or a previous student, a new graduate of Pierce College. I originally came to Pierce College as a 32-year-old with two uh, a teenage children, uh, one 16 and one 13. Uh, I currently uh, get financial aid, and I'm sure that without financial aid, I wouldn't be able to go to school. I would have to. Uh, more help take care of my children than I already do. 
Um, with financial aid, I've been able to study as long as I need to, stay at school as long as uh, necessary, and to go the extra mile uh, to achieve the degree uh, that I've achieved, which is a degree in liberal arts. Uh, I'm, I'm currently going to still be under uh, financial aid. Uh, when I go to Eastern Washington, uh, without financial aid, I'm sure I'm positive that I, I wouldn't be going, uh, be able to continue my education. Uh, if, if we cut into those funds, uh, more people just like me will never be able to achieve the, the educational goals that they've always wanted to accomplish. So uh, we got to keep financial aid. Hi, I'm Nicole from Pierce College. With the budget cuts that have already occurred, I have had problems getting into required classes as everyone needs them and then those classes end up getting cut. I did not purchase any books this quarter and one of the books was not even available in the library. I am sure that my grade in the class would have been better had I had the book. This year I am paying for my classes. Higher tuition may make it harder for me to pay for the classes and I may end up dropping out altogether. Please do not cut our budget. Financial aid is the only reason some of us are here. Thank you. In closing, I'd like to thank you for listening to our stories and ask you to keep in mind when the subject of education budget cuts and tuition increases comes to the table that we are only a few of the many students affected that chose to share our stories. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in midwinter with another episode of Pierce TV. If you want to catch this episode again, it will be available on the web at www.pcd.edu slash pubs slash Pierce TV. Mm -hmm.